Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts are the quarterbacks of the last two remaining teams in the NFL and are both one win away from becoming a Super Bowl champion. But to make things more difficult, I will be resetting them to 50 overalls to see who can win a Super Bowl first. Our goals this video are to reach a 99 overall and obviously to win a Super Bowl. And at the end of every season, we will spin the wheel of upgrades. These upgrades are crucial because they could be the key to whoever completes this challenge first. And now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at our contestants. 50 overall Patrick Mahomes and 50 overall Jalen Hurts. Hurts. <sighs> And to make things a bit interesting, I gave Patrick Mahomes and Jalen Hurts an opportunity at a wheel spin right off the bat. Eagles versus Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Whoever wins this gets a free wheel spin to start off their season. And on the very first play of the Super Bowl, the Eagles did this. <laughs> Who's number 18? Who is this? He's gonna rich. He's gonna dab it. Has to run. The very first play of the game, he's taking it to the crib. And that was an awesome way to kickstart things because this game would literally be game of the year going back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth until the very end where Jalen Hurts will lead a game winning drive to end the Super Bowl. The Eagles are Super Bowl champs. They've done it. Is this foreshadowing maybe? Although Jalen Hurts gets the upgrade, Mahomes definitely deserved it more. Mahomes had a game of his life and he still lost. So without further ado, this would kick off the beginning of season one. Plus five play action. Okay, Mr. Hurts, we will take that. We're still a 50 overall. And now with our first season officially underway, we will have different challenges for every season. Something with season one, whoever gets the most passing yards out of Mahomes and Hurts will get an extra 100 points. Okay, half Halfway through season one, Jalen Hurts is throwing for 1,400 yards with 11 touchdowns and seven interceptions. And Patrick Mahomes looks like the clear cut favorite right now with 2,200 passing yards with 16 touchdowns and four interceptions. Mahomes might complete this challenge at, an, at 50 overall. Although Jalen Hurts was struggling, his team wasn't as he led the Eagles to a four and two record midway through the season. But Mahomes would end up leading the Chiefs to an 11 and six record while the Eagles finished nine and eight, but both teams still made the playoffs. Jalen Hurts with 4,400 yards okay not bad but Patrick Mahomes would have one of the best seasons out of any quarterback this year 5,200 okay all right all right okay Mahomes 43 touchdowns 11 interceptions I think 50 overall there's no way An extra 100 points now that only one quarterback could win this season's challenge I would consider both of these quarterbacks having a W season as they led both of their teams to the playoffs this season and both teams would actually move on to the next round and move on to the next round it would both be eliminated in their conference championships. Oh, dude, can you imagine if they met in the Super Bowl the very first season? Yeah, no, instead we got one of the most unrealistic Super Bowls ever. I mean, I mean the Cardinals and the Raiders, dude, seriously. But because Patrick Mahomes won season one's challenge, we get to spend a hundred points on him to upgrade him. And before I could even add a hundred points to Patrick Mahomes after completing season one's challenge, he managed to jump up to a 71 overall. He is a 71 overall? He literally jumped 20 overalls in one season. There was no way. And after adding those a hundred points that he's so rightfully deserved. It would already become a 77 overall. Oh, okay. Bounty Mount Address, 77 overall after season yes, one. I like sir. it. In case you forgot, after every season, we would be spinning a wheel. This wheel will be full of positives, but Ooh. also negatives. Minus five throw power. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, and I was 73 overall. Press on the other side of things, Jalen Hurts definitely got blessed from the wheel of upgrades. Jackpot! Yes! That is so lucky. And after season one's completion, Jalen Hurts went from a 66 to an 80 overall because jackpot meant we get to max out one stat bar and I maxed out throw power to get that to a 99 overall. Jalen Hurts at an 80 overall. Okay. I mean, it's just, you know, he, he has normal development now. That's, that's, that stinks. Now, so right now, Jalen Hurts takes the short lead over Mahomes heading into season two. And stay tuned because Mahomes would have something to say about this. Okay, we've made it to the start of season two. And this season's challenge is whoever has the most passing touchdowns gets a hundred bonus points. Okay, I'm feeling good about Mahomes because he went 12 and 5. Whereas the Eagles finished 8 and 9, finishing last in the NFC East. Okay, Patrick Mahomes with 4,600 yards and 41 touchdowns. Oh my god, that touchdown to interception ratio is just gorgeous. And he had 69 completion percentage. Oh, you love to see it. I like what I'm seeing, Patty. And unfortunately, this challenge wouldn't even be close. 27 touchdowns for Jalen Hurts. This wasn't even close. But congratulations, Mahomes. You get an extra 100 bonus points at the end of the season. Before we could put those 100 points on Patrick Mahomes, we had to worry about the playoffs. The 12 and 5 Kansas City Chiefs hosting the Texans. And right now, Patrick Mahomes is still a 77 overall. Okay, Patrick Mahomes is still a 77 overall. He's, he's, he's not godlike yet. And that could potentially haunt a 
nervous because with such a weak AFC bracket, the Chiefs have the opportunity to make it to the Super Bowl this year. Okay, Patty Mahomes, come on. Drive down. Give me seven. This is the Houston Texans we're talking about. They are not that good. They have Rodrigo Blankenship. And we would start to pull away in the very end. 41 to 17. 48 to 17. Oh my God. Let's go, Andy. We're moving on to the next round. And Patrick Mahomes went absolutely crazy. And just like that, we were moving on to the next round. Okay, the Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs. We have a rich history. Please do not let us down, Mr. Mahomes. We have a Super Bowl to win. And all of this game will be played in a literal blizzard. It was actually a pretty high scoring game. 20 to 17. We can't close it out. No, Mahomes. But thankfully for Mahomes, we have a lot more seasons to go and he would have an extra 100 points to build on. After completing season two's challenge, Patrick Mahomes rose from a 79 overall to an 89 overall as we upgraded our awareness, our accuracies, and our throw on the run. Okay, Mr. Mahomes, we're an 89 overall. Love to see it. And on top of that, we would have our seasonal wheel spin to complete Patrick Mahomes this offseason. Okay, now he's a 91 overall. Love to see it. And whereas Patrick Mahomes was climbing the ranks, we had some work to do with Jalen Hurts. Okay, Jalen Hurts, you're an 80 overall before this wheel spin. And this wheel spin would quickly change everything. Plus 10 throw on the run. Okay. None of this was very ironic because we were literally just upgrading this on Patrick Mahomes. We would then boost Jalen Hurts' throw on the run from a 71 to an 81. Jalen Hurts in an 84 overall. Okay. So Patrick Mahomes regaining the lead at a 91 overall while Jalen Hurts is just behind at an 84. Oh, and by the way, the Ravens won the Super Bowl this past season. If you were curious, I don't know if you really care. And heading into season three where each quarterback would begin to regain their tools and the attributes that made them the special quarterbacks that they are today, our third challenge would focus on passer rating. And whoever had the higher passer rating out of the two this season will get an extra 100 points. But before it can even begin season three, something drastically changed. Okay, that's not Jalen Hurts. Where is Jalen Hurts? And after scrolling through NFL rosters for the next 10 minutes, I finally found my answer. He's on the Atlanta Falcons. Jalen, what do they do to you? He's on the Atlanta Falcons with Sam Darnold and Desmond Ritter. That is awful. And going from AJ Brown and Devonta Smith to Drake London and Donovan Peoples-Jones, this would make this passer ratings challenge a bit harder for Jalen Hurts. Okay, the Falcons would finish 6-11. and 11. Well, The Chiefs would have the best record in the NFL at 13-4. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think I know who won this challenge. Okay, Jalen Hurts had arguably one of his worst seasons yet. 3,300 yards with 25 touchdowns and 20 interceptions. He did have an 86.9 quarterback rating. And I would soon check Patrick Mahomes's, and it wouldn't even be close. <laughs> okay, this is not even fair. This man actually might have won MVP this year. Before we could even worry about MVP, we had the playoffs to worry about. The 10 and 7 Cincinnati Bengals visit the Kansas City Chiefs. If we win this game, we have a clear cut chance to the Super Bowl because we would be facing either the five seeded Indianapolis Colts or the six seeded Houston Texans. Unfortunately for us, we would have to face the owner of the Kansas City Chiefs this playoff round. 99 Joe Burrow. My guess. We also have Joe Mixon at 98 overall. Jamar Chase at a 98. This team is cracked. Oh my God. But thankfully for us, the Kansas City Chiefs would play close attention to the media this week and see everything that was going on with Burrowhead and what the Cincinnati mayor had to say. 37 to 30. What another all-time classic between the Chiefs and the Bengals. And just like that, we were back in the AFC Championship. The 11 and 6 Indianapolis Colts. Oh God, Jonathan Taylor's a 99 overall. Unlike the Indianapolis Colts we saw in real life this past season, this team was no joke. Dude, it is always Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is a sim god. He is always looking to ruin my hopes and dreams. Okay, let's go. Come on, Kansas City Chiefs. Please do not let Lamar Jackson ruin our hopes and dreams. I cannot do this again. Oh my God, Lamar Jackson just owns us every single time. And although we have yet made another AFC championship, but have been cut short yet again, we thankfully had something good to look forward to. Plus 10 throw in the run. Okay, this is becoming a meme at this point. And just like that, we finally got to max out throw in the run for Patrick Mahomes. And that puts him at a 93 overall. Okay. And also with the additional 100 points we get for completing season three's challenge. He's now a 99 overall. Okay, perfect. Now that Patrick Mahomes is now a 99 overall, all we have left is to win a Super Bowl. And all that Patrick Mahomes is getting all the spotlight recently, we couldn't forget about Jalen Hurts. Jackpot again. Oh, he is getting so blessed. And after this extremely lucky jackpot, we get to max out to one one stat bar for Jalen Hurts yet again. Okay, do we do awareness? Because it's only, it's, it's at an 83. Or do we do like throw under pressure or throw in the run, deep throw accuracy? And after quick consideration, I made my decision. Yeah, we're gonna do awareness. I feel like that's vi that's very important. You, you definitely underestimate how important awareness is for a quarterback stat. He's now a 92 overall. There's no way that did that much.
much. And yet, like I said before, you do not understand how important awareness is for a quarterback. And heading into season four, it is now 99 to 92. All Patrick Mahomes has to do is win a Super Bowl, whereas Jalen Hurts still has to reach a 99 overall and win a Super Bowl. And with both quarterbacks finally rounding out and nearly becoming both 99 overalls, I thought it was finally time that we put wins as an important stat, making it season four's challenge. Yeah, the Falcons actually finished 10 and 7. Unfortunately for Jalen Hurts, the Chiefs would finish with one more win. The Chiefs finished with an 11 and 6 record. You gotta be kidding me. Although Jalen Hurts did not complete this season's challenge, he did make the playoffs and he is a higher seed than Patrick Mahomes. Okay, we both made the playoffs yet again. Is this the season? Okay, they both advanced to the next round and they both won. There's no way. The fifth seeded Kansas City Chiefs would be playing the sixth seeded Tennessee Titans, whereas this two seeded Atlanta Falcons would be playing the divisional rival Carolina Panthers. Oh my god, this Carolina Panthers team is ass. They're literally nine and eight, dude. We should literally win this with ease, guys. And the Kansas City Chiefs have to play Derrick Henry, T. Higgins. Yeah, th this team isn't very good either, guys. Okay, I'm no script writer, but can you imagine Jalen Hurts and Patrick Mahomes ending this video playing for the Super Bowl? 37 to 20. Jalen Hurts, we've done it. We're on the way to the Super Bowl. Patrick Mahomes, we're headed to the Super Bowl as well. And just like that, the script has been set. Patrick Mahomes will be taking on Jalen Hurts in the final boss battle to determine who the winner of this video is. And after natural progression of playing throughout the entire NFL season, Jalen Hurts reached a 99 overall. Jalen Hurts, we're a 99 overall just yes, in time sir. for the Super yes, Bowl. Sir. Meaning Jalen Hurts knocked off the 99 overall challenge and all he had to do along with Patrick Mahomes was to win that elusive Super Bowl. And with the stage set of Jalen Hurts trying to bring home the Lombardi as well as Patrick Mahomes trying to secure his second Lombardi trophy. It was finally time to begin. Okay, what's gonna happen, boys? Are we who, who's gonna take it home? Oh my god, the Chiefs are blowing him out. Come on, Jalen Hurts. How are we gonna respond? Jalen Hurts, we're not gonna go out like this, are we? Jalen Hurts, don't make it anticlimactic. Please put some points on the board. Thank you. Come on, we can mount a comeback. Oh my god, we can mount a comeback. No, we can't. Oh god. Oh my god, this was a massacre. Just like that, Patrick Mahomes has done it. The Chiefs are Super Bowl champions. Look at them dap it off and pay respects. Patrick yes, Mahomes sir. securing his second ever Super yes, Bowl. Sir. And on top of that, he completes today's challenge on who would win a Super Bowl first. And Patrick Mahomes is a pretty dang good quarterback. So much so that if I reset Patrick Mahomes to a zero overall and he could only get upgraded for every touchdown that he threw, would he be able to become a 99 overall? Well, if you're curious on that, I made a video on it. Click right here. It was a banger. I love making videos of Patrick Mahomes. Just click right here to pop up on the screen right here. Boom. 